Hi, it's Jimmy with ultrabooknews.com. We're at IFA this week. I'm at IDF next, next week, so uh, follow that. Um, I just want to t talk to you about uh, the battery life on my Haswell Ultrabook that I've been using uh, this week. The plan was to go to uh, IFA, 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 German coming out there, uh, without power, without any mains power, and without any cables. I've succeeded day zero, day one, and day two so far. On the Haswell Base Ultrabook I have here, I have done the whole day without uh, any mains power. And I've been doing a lot of work. So let me just flip round. This is the, uh, the Ultrabook I'm obviously using. And uh, basically I've been blogging, video editing, photo editing, doing social networks. Now a feature of Windows 8, if you don't know about it, it's on the command line, power config minus battery report. Windows 8 is always logging when a device is being used, when the screen is on and it's active, or when it's in standby. And in this case, when it's in connected standby. This is a connected standby capable um, laptop. So it does draw some nice graphs as well. Um, it's a bit difficult to see uh, what's going on there, but basically if I go down here, there's a per day basis, it actually extrapolates how much um, uh, battery life has been used when the device has been on, with the screen on, and when it's been in connected standby as well. So these are the sort of figures I get at home when I'm casually using the Ultrabook for uh, you know, home use, social, a bit of writing, a bit of video watching. We're talking about nine, nine and a half, nine and three quarters hours. That's extrapolated sort of naught to 100% uh, battery life. I tend to charge when I get down to 10%, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be getting that out of myself, out of the battery, uh, but that would be the, the full battery life. Also in connected standby, so I don't switch this off, I just close the lid and then it's in connected standby. The Wi-Fi is connected, it's updating Twitter, etc, etc. Now that's uh, before I came to IFA. When I came to IFA we started doing lots of video editing. So now you can see here the, the six and a half hours of screen on usage. Now this is a heavy case usage. Six hours, 34 minutes, six hours, 37 minutes of video editing of of a screen on in daylight. I'm in a very bright room here as you can see with the reflection so screen brightness is up up high. Wi-Fi and 3G on. I'm, um, I've got apps running in the background. I haven't got time to make sure everything's closed because blogging is more important than, than keeping uh, sorry keeping windows up for blogging is more important than saving battery life in some cases. Six and a half hours with another five or six hours in connected standby. So there we go that's your 12 hours day and that for me has been sort of 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I've been obviously working before that uh, in the hotel, but, but, but when I get to the site, 9 p.m., 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., 12 hours, and that's the battery life I'm getting out of this. There's a 60 watt hour battery in here. Go to the top of the report, you can see 60 watt hours is the full charge capacity of this, although it's rated only at 53. I'm actually getting 60 out of it. And you can also see up here that connected standby is supported. So that is uh, pretty amazing and it's the first time I've ever, there's a video just gone up there, I'm using Cyberlink uh, for editing, that is the first time I've ever been able to use um, any, any sort of laptop all day in this sort of vlogging scenario without many mains power. So trust me, the difference between Ivy Bridge and Haswell, especially when you've got a connected standby device, is amazing. It is really, it makes you, allows you to leave the cables at home, really gives you the freedom to move about and just takes so much weight crap out of the bag as well. Haswell, on the Ultrabook, connected standby if possible. My name's Shippy, uh, I'm reporting at ultrabooknews.com and umcportal.com. I'm at IFA, IFA, IFA today and tomorrow, and then I'm at IDF from uh, Monday, that's in San Francisco, that's the Intel conference. Watch out for Bay Trail stuff there on umcportal.com. So the new generation of Atom, we will see some products next week, Tuesday and Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next video.